Hello and welcome to the one and only channel on YouTube dedicated to educating the viewers on how to improve financial literacy. Without a doubt, Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway CEO, has had more success than any other investor in history. This video has advice from Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger on how to handle the hard era ahead in 2022. When inflated markets, ongoing inflation, and interest rate hikes will all be throwing us curveballs. Click the bell icon and the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever new videos are uploaded that are comparable to those that have already been released. These are the Buffett approach. Number 1. Understand the business. Number 2. Check for a durable competitive advantage. Number 3. Management has integrity and talent. And number 4. Ensure a margin of safety. It's a straightforward four-step process that remains constant no matter the state of the market. It wouldn't matter whether this video was labeled Buffett's Advice for 2022 or Buffett's Advice for 1984, since these four foundations of investments are timeless. But in 2022, we will undoubtedly face some thorny new considerations in the way of our investments. First, our stock markets are ridiculously overpriced. Second, inflation is soaring. And third, interest rates are expected to rise this year as a direct result of these factors. So, let's watch this video and take in Warren Buffett's thoughts on these three important issues, beginning with the issue of overpriced stock markets. In this year of rising prices, how can we make investments? We may not have many chances to purchase inexpensive stocks within our area of expertise this year, especially if you have an active investor. According to 2019's version of Warren Buffett's annual letter to shareholders, the business magnate had this to say about the subject. In the years ahead, we hope to move much of our excess liquidity into businesses that Berkshire will permanently own. The immediate prospects for that, however, are not good prices being sky-high for businesses possessing decent long-term prospects. Yes, Buffett is attempting to acquire whole companies while we are simply trying to buy a few shares. But ultimately, it is the same thing. No question he has really battled to find places to put his money in the last year or two. He doesn't just waste his money on inflated stocks. Correct. Ignoring fees is a major mistake when investing. Instead, he patiently waits and adds to his financial reserves. So it's not perfect, but keep in mind that you don't profit from purchases or sales. Rather, you gain from the time between them. You don't need that many fantastic stocks in your lifetime. So be patient and wait for the appropriate chances to come along instead of being lured into purchasing ordinary assets in a hugely overpriced market, as Buffett advises. How often does Buffett repeat the same old cliché? To be successful, you don't need a lot of great investments. Hence, be patient till the market provides you with one. So that's the bad news for active investors in 2022. However, there is another investing strategy out there that Buffett frequently recommends for most people, and that is, of course, passive investing and passive investors who are merely dollar-cost averaging and participating in the stock market should continue to invest in 2022. The goal of the passive investor is not to time the market. Using dollar-cost averaging, you invest a certain amount of money at regular intervals over a long period of time in the hopes of achieving a return on investment that is about equal to the market's average during the time period. As Warren was suggesting, passive investors should keep investing regardless of the market's direction. Never glance at a chart or read a headline. Stick to your plan, invest with a long-term horizon in mind, and the stock market will reward your patience. You should be patient and not make any rash decisions if you are an active investor. And you should keep doing what you've always done if you are a passive investor. Strive relentlessly towards the middle of the pack. Who do you think you are? An active investor or a passive one? Well, whichever you are of the two, you should like this video for more investing advices from the experts. So like this video now. Then, 
What about inflation? Inflation has been a major topic over the last year, and with annual rates in the United States now at 6.8%, it's safe to assume that it will remain so long beyond 2023. Consistent with what Buffett predicted, you have to ask and then what in economics? You can't simply do one thing. What do you know about it? The consequences of zero interest rates and currency printing have become apparent. The rate of inflation is quite high at the present time. So, Mr. Buffett, what would you suggest we do? Okay, Buffett covered this one a long time ago. We'll go back in time to 1982, when U.S. inflation was beginning to level down after reaching 20%. In his annual shareholder letter from 1982, Buffett outlined the kind of companies investors should prioritize purchasing during times of high inflation. Such favored business must have two characteristics. One, an ability to increase prices rather easily even when product demand is flat and capacity is not fully utilized without fear of significant loss of either market share or unit volume. And two, an ability to accommodate large dollar volume increases in business often produced more by inflation than real growth with only minor additional investment of capital. First of all, he seems to be referring to companies that can raise prices without suffering any repercussions. This would be great for mitigating the impacts of inflation. But what kind of company could do this without suffering a significant loss of market share? People would definitely try to find a cheaper alternative. Making sure the companies you are considering have a competitive edge is crucial during inflationary times. Anything that will allow them to maintain their current client base and by extension, their market share, even if they increase their pricing. Second, according to Buffett, we would seek for companies that can expand to handle a significant rise in transaction volume with a comparatively little increase in capital outlay. Organizations that may increase their revenue significantly without significantly increasing their expenses. Therefore, it's important to focus on businesses with highly scalable models. Thus, in times of inflation, one should hunt for the competitive edge and also for businesses that are readily expandable. Okay, so what do you think about the rising cost of living? If you have any suggestion, please leave them below. You should also subscribe to this channel and enable notification by clicking the bell icon. Let's wrap up by discussing interest rates. The Federal Reserve has signaled that it is considered three rate rises for 2022. When it comes to interest rates, what is Buffett's take? With interest rates at zero, bond investments provide no return to large asset managers. Consequently, bondholders' money is diverted away from safer investments like bonds and into the stock market in search of higher returns, driving up stock prices. That's the relationship between interest rates and stock market prices that Buffett's mentioned. What gravitational pull is to stuff? You probably already know that jumping is easier with less gravity and considerably more difficult with more. It's the same thing with the stock market. Very low interest rates imply that stock market values may readily increase. A lot of money is now being poured into the market, but that trend will begin to reverse in 2022 we should expect interest rates to begin climbing soon. And as they do, we can expect the force of gravity to increase, make it more difficult to make a sudden, large leap. While you shouldn't allow the macroeconomic situation affect your own investment decisions, it's important to be aware that as interest rates increase and new bonds become more attractive, stock valuation may come under pressure, especially for overpriced firms in 2022 and beyond. No end-of-the-world forecast, but prepare as if it would happen in the next several years. And there you have it, friends, a smattering of Warren Buffett's wisdom for tackling the major financial issues ahead in the year 2022. And that ends our video for today. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And please share your ideas with me in the comment section. I'm interested in what you have to say. Having said that, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. See you in the next one!